A key part of Australia's firefighting strategy makes dangerous blazes more likely. That's according to a landmark research paper on prescribed burns in forests. As science and technology correspondent Brent O'Halloran reports, there are calls for a new approach with greater use of sophisticated tech. Small, controlled fires prevent big, out-of-control ones. It's fundamental firefighting logic. But in one significant setting, the tactic may be causing more harm, as experts call for an urgent review. I actually think we're really running out of time. We need to act immediately. Research from Curtin and the Australian National Universities suggest prescribed burns in forests kill tall plants which slow fires and allow smaller, more flammable plants to thrive. As you disturb the forest, you've got a, a very short period of low fire risk afterwards if you got clear ground, but then you had a long period of increased fire risk. Rural fire departments carry out dozens of prescribed burns across the country ahead of the fire season to destroy bushfire fuel. We're about protecting people, um, property, and, and making sure that we reduce the fuel load um, in those areas, particularly where it's either a, a known fire path. The research authors say frequent burns close to homes are wise, but one-off burns in the forest should be stopped. They're also calling for more investment in tech, like unmanned water gliders, drones, satellite imagery, and heat detecting devices to spot and deal with fires faster. We'll continue to look at research and where it's appropriate and where it's in the best interest of the people of New South Wales, we'll obviously modify our practices. The questions around strategy follow revelations about shortages. A Sky News investigation late last year found there weren't enough rural fire service volunteers to carry out scheduled burns. While the potential for major blazes this summer remains. Given a couple of weeks of heat, areas allowed to dry out a little bit more. We still are watching for a bushfire risk as we head through the rest of this season. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.